Yoruba leader and famous historian Professor Banja Kintoye yesterday declared that in spite of present challenges, Yoruba nation state was close at hand. In his New Year message made available to journalists in Ibadan by Maswe Adeleye, Akintoye said there would be no governorship election anywhere in Yoruba land in 2022. The leader of Ilana Omo Odwa worldwide said, with great gratitude to God, I banja Akintoye bring this message to all my Yoruba people at home in the Yoruba homeland and all Yoruba people in the diaspora in almost all countries of the world. In particular, I congratulate all of us who have in one way or another contributed to the Yoruba struggle for self-determination. I thank and congratulate all Yoruba self-determination organizations and agitators. In the struggle for Yoruba self-determination, God has granted us a great deal of success towards the attainment of our Yoruba nation state. Most of our self-determination organizations have grown stronger and more focused, and the result is that the Yoruba self-determination struggle has become unassailable. The uninformed may be tempted to see only the divisions between and among our self determination organizations but the truly perceptive will see that all these apparent divisions are a product of the eagerness of our young people to have a Yoruba country of their own. For our youth the struggle has started and there is no looking back. Our Yoruba people will do whatever it takes to obtain our Yoruba nation's sovereignty and our own country in the world. The positive achievements of the self-determination struggle are visible in very many directions. For instance, one of our organizations, Ilana Omo Odwa, has achieved a worldwide structure and image and some more of our other organizations are following suit. From the activities of these organizations, great things are happening in the past few days. Ilana Omo Odudua launched a truly revolutionary invention with the name Pajawiri. Pajawiri is already spreading out like with fire all over Yoruba land. When it is fully spread out and perfected, it will offer protection to every Yoruba man, woman and child at any time in any place. We Yoruba are preeminently a nation of intellect. We are a supremely intellectually gifted nation. In the months to come, more assets will be created by our intellect to surprise the world. In addition, one of our affiliate groups, Yoruba Professionals Foundation YPF, had in the last year trained over 1,000 Yoruba people on knowledge based entrepreneurship and smart agriculture, such as smart homes, automation technology, solar technology, digital marketing, accounting technologies cinematography, drone piloting, mobile application development, poultry management, data science, amongst others. The conclusion is that I thank all Yoruba persons at home and abroad who are contributing in big ways and in small ways to the Yoruba self-determination struggle. We Yoruba humbly and painfully acknowledged that we have a serious security challenge. Another Nigerian ethnic nationality, the Fulani have for six years now been busy threatening and trying to seize our Yoruba homeland from us by force. They have come killing our people, destroying our farms, farms, villages and farmsteads, raping women and kidnapping people for ransom. They have forced many of our farmers to abandon 
farming altogether and they are striving to plunge us into farming and uttermost poverty. They started coming by themselves as cattle headers and militias armed with sophisticated weapons. But in more recent times, they have been coming increasingly with hired terrorists from the homelands of terrorism in distant parts of the world. The Fulani cannot but know who we, the Yoruba people, are, and they know that we are the largest, strongest, and most educated nationality on the African continent. They know that we are a giant nation that chooses to be humane and gentle, yet they have recklessly plunged themselves into this assault on our homeland. He added, meanwhile, in addition, we shall achieve our self-determination and sovereignty, and then we will not have any Fulani threats or attacks to contend with anymore. From all over the world, Yoruba people are responding to this call for prayers and fasting, and from among the millions who are praying and fasting, Countless messages of blessing are coming forth for the whole Yoruba nation. First, our dear son, Sunday Adeyemo, will soon be blessed with liberation from detention. Secondly, the Yoruba people will soon be blessed with their Yoruba nation state, the greatest desire of their hearts. Thirdly, their new Yoruba country will quickly blossom into a marvelous country of peace love and exceptional prosperity. The messages also include serious kinds of advice and injunctions for all of us Yoruba people. First, we are seriously advised and warned against cursing. There's too much cursing going on in our land. One cannot switch on our social media platform without hearing terrible causes against persons whom we regard as enemies or traitors. This causing must stop. The, it weakens our nation's spiritual power and makes our nation weak and vulnerable. From our spiritual leaders of all faiths, Muslims, Christians, and Isese, the advice is coming that we must stop cursing and that we must make a habit of praying, including praying for those whom we might regard as enemies or traitors. We must even pray for today's greatest enemies of our nation, namely the Fulani people. When we pray in these ways, the heavens and the heavens we open and pour mighty rains of blessing onto our land and into our lives. Uh, my viewers are told this all we can take for now. Ensure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, make this report very spread this report to other platforms and they buy for now.